Did you know that we have channel memberships now? If you'd like to help support this channel, get some exclusive Kawabana emotes to use in the comments, as well as an exclusive badge by your name, click that join button now to find out more. Every bit of support really helps. Thanks guys. This is a neat story that happened while I was living in Japan, so this week I'd like to take a closer look at it, now that quite some time has passed and yet it still circulates in some corners of the internet. For this one, we have to go all the way back to 2006. December 2nd, 2006, to be exact, which was when the Wii first went on sale in Japan. And it was this picture that you can see here that started a fascinating rumour that still circulates today. You can probably guess what that was just by looking at it. But apparently, someone in a Luigi costume invaded the release day event at Yodobashi Akihabara and had to be dragged away by security when people realised he wasn't actually an official working for either Nintendo or Yodobashi. He was, according to the rumours, just some regular Joe who snuck in and pretended that he was supposed to be there. But what was really going on? It all started, as it often does, with a post on Ni Channel. Someone posted a thread with the title, Luigi Arrested, and shared some official pictures from the event. These showed Luigi standing around with event staff like everything was perfectly normal, but then ended with the now infamous picture of Luigi being dragged off by what appears to be security. Before long, someone who claimed to be at the event then chimed in. I was there, he said. It looks like Luigi wasn't actually there as part of Nintendo's plans. Meaning, someone just put the costume on and then entered the event without permission. Then the people on site were like, Oh, so this is what they planned. Well then, let's hand it over to Luigi. But then the security staff started moving and everyone realised that nobody knew who Luigi actually was. Lol. After this post, rumours spread like wildfire that a member of the general public dressed up in a Luigi costume and basically joined the Wii event at Yodobashi unannounced and uninvited. At first, the staff members assumed he was supposed to be there because, well, why wouldn't they? He was Luigi, after all, and it was the release day of Nintendo's newest console. Sure, he wasn't Mario, but maybe Mario was busy elsewhere. Nobody thought much of it, but then, it would appear, that someone cottoned onto the fact that Luigi wasn't supposed to be there, and so security promptly removed him from the premises. Someone had successfully bombed Nintendo's big release day event, and message boards lit up with talk of it. But was that what really happened? Ni Channel is hardly a bastion of truth, after all. You can post anything there and claim it as fact. That's pretty much how the occult boards started and continue to function to this day, after all. Who's going to tell you that you're wrong? Nobody even knows who you are. It's important to note that, of course, the photos of Luigi from that day were very real, including the picture of Luigi being dragged away. They came from official sources and you can still find many of them on the internet today. Luigi really was there. He took lots of pictures and, at some point, he was taken away by staff and this was also photographed. But was he really a member of the general public who basically bombed the event uninvited? Well, you probably already know the answer to this, but no. No, he wasn't. An article written by Nikkei on the same day as the event described how the Yodobashi Akihabara store held a special event for the Wii's release and started selling the console at 7am that day. There were already close to 500 people waiting on the steps at 6.30am to pick up their brand new game machines, and Luigi showed up just before 7am to help with the countdown ceremony. Luigi helped break the kusudama, the ball filled with streamers and confetti, and then hung around for photo ops before leaving. There was zero indication that Luigi wasn't supposed to be there, and yet the rumours continued to spread. At this point, it's important to remember that this took place in 2006. 
the internet was a very different place to what it is now. There was very little social media like we know it today, and most people gathered in specialised forums or in places like Nichannel. Of course, these took place in real time, but it was much harder to immediately debunk something compared to now. By the time people had gathered enough facts to point out that something was wrong, the rumour had already spread far and wide by those hanging out in the thread. And this is exactly what happened here. Bloggers picked up on the news and posted it to their websites. Their readers, seeing it for the first time, saw the pictures and assumed it to be true, and then spread it to their own friends, and so on and so forth. There were even a few news outlets who didn't bother to fact check before they saw the uproar and posted about it as well, further muddying the waters. Large official outlets like well-respected newspapers and the Famitsu website posted about the event, but they mentioned nothing about Luigi being an intruder. Yet for people who had seen the news all over Ni Channel and blogs, this seemed more like they were trying to hide that someone had managed to sneak into the event and pretended to be there in an official capacity more than anything else. In fact, the rumours continued to spread so far and wide that Famitsu themselves decided to address the issue in their January 15, 2007 edition by talking directly to Yodobashi themselves and getting the answer straight from the horse's mouth. By this point, all sorts of rumours had spread out of the original, so they wanted to set the story straight. However, according to a staff member from Yodobashi, no. He was a staff member from our company, and something we prepared ourselves. But then, if Luigi was a staff member from Yodobashi, why were there photos of him being dragged away by staff? The answer to this was surprisingly simple. The costume was difficult to see out of, and there were over a thousand people lined up that morning to grab a console. It was jam-packed and poor Luigi couldn't see. In order to get him through the mass of traffic, staff members took his hands and helped guide him through the crowds to safety. And, at the end of the day, it was as simple as that. Luigi was a Yodobashi staff member, and he was very much supposed to be there. Once the little opening event was done and photos were taken, other staff members helped guide Luigi through the massive crowd, because it was difficult to see through the costume and the building was packed. These pictures, however, looked like Luigi was being dragged away by security staff, and so somebody on Knee Channel took the opportunity to stir up some trouble. Knee Channel can be a bit hit or miss with what posts get picked up and what posts get ignored, but in this case, people jumped on the hilarious idea of Luigi being arrested at a Nintendo event, and the rest, as they say, was history. We're now just over 15 years separated from this event, and despite how easy it is to find information stating that this rumour was fake, it's still going strong in many corners of the internet. After all, it's much easier to read, fake Luigi invades Nintendo event and gets arrested, and move on, than it is to dig into that outrageous headline and uncover whether it's really true or not. Which pretty much sums up the internet in general, doesn't it? No, Luigi didn't get arrested at a Nintendo event, but it sure makes for a fun story to tell, doesn't it? But what do you guys think of this one? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll see you again next time.